Okay, welcome back. And we have nearly finished our calculator. It's almost working, but it has a few little bugs in it, mainly around being able to calculate the total when we press the equals button. So what we're going to do in this lesson is learn how to debug React apps. It's exactly the same way as you would debug any other JavaScript apps. There's no particular difference. So you can put in your debugger statements, for example. So let's put a debugger in here. And let's also put a console log and let's log out this state so we can say console log and then calc. And in this actual site on this code pen, we've got access to a console down here. So we can click that and then anything coming up in our console will appear down here. But in, in addition to that, we also have the built in browser debugger as well. So let's first of all, see what happens in our console. Let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on and let's do 10 and then press plus and expand this console we can see our state says the current value is 10 well that's what's in the display and the current total is 0 if we then add another value and do 20 and hit plus we can see that our current value is 20 that's in the display plus the previous value is 10 but you may have noticed something, and that our operator has been got lost here. We've only got three values on our state, and we should have four values on our state. So let's try and figure out what's going on there. Let's open up the developer console by going to the three dots, and then more tools, and then developer tools. And let's press another button. Let's make these windows a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Let's do 10 again and then hit plus and we hit a debugger so we've managed to pull out the value 20 out of our current total and we can now step through the code and you can see we have got to the default and the reason why our default is we are we're getting undefined on this property called pre-op so somewhere we are clearing our state or we are clearing that particular property on our state so that's the problem Let's figure out where we're doing that. So there's only a few places where we update the state. One is here, and we can see that we are setting the pre-op here, so we're not doing anything wrong there. But immediately above it, we are only setting three values. We're not setting the pre-op. So what happens is that when we go to set the state object, it takes this object here and overwrites the previous object. And because we don't specify the property, it's basically going to set that to undefined. So all we need to do to fix that is simply set it back to itself and do preop and then calc.preop like this. And while we're here, we can double check in the equals button and we can see that we've currently set it there. But what we're doing here is we're actually doing a bit of code duplication because we're actually doing exactly the same thing is we are doing right up here where it says handle operator. So there's particularly no reason why we've got this separate function to do that. Why don't we just call the existing handle operator and just pass in the equals because when it comes down to here, it's going to effectively fall into this anyway. So let's get rid of this function. And where we've got our equals button here, we can change that to say handle operator and it will pass in the equals and then all should be good. Let's just clear the console and we can shut that down for the moment. And let's just get rid of our debug statements so not in our way. That and that. Okay, there we go. And let's give it a go again. So 10 plus 20 equals 30. Now we can do another one plus 20 equals 50 minus 5 plus six equals 51. Excellent. Let's try and be a bit braver and do some multiplication. So 51 times two equals 102. It looks like it's working guys. And let's divide that by maybe five equals 20.4. Excellent. And let's add six onto that, 26. We can clear it down and we can do a few more. 56 times 89 equals 4984. 
So there we go, guys. I think we can congratulate ourselves in making our first little React project, and we have a little functioning calculator. And we've learned quite a lot, haven't we? So with that, let's move on and go to the module summary.